Hi guys, I'm Marticor and look at little Will Smith. Isn't he a total cutie? He looks a lot like Johnny. I guess he's a copy of him. Even though I quit the family so many times when he was born. He didn't really mix that well, I guess. But he's cute. Very cute. Anyway, I um I expanded the house because at first I guess I was thinking about making another child in this family. So I built another like I expanded the the wing of the of the house and there's um a bedroom right here now. And uh, the the living room is bigger, I think. I don't, I can't remember what it looked like before. Never mind. And on the second floor, I made a uh, a study. And well, Will's room is the same as it was. But then, after a few weeks or even maybe months, I uh, entered this family again, and I was like, why? Why did I do that? <laughs> Because it occurred to me that it doesn't make any sense to make another baby in this family. Because why? They don't even want to have more children. Even though Ophelia is a family sim, she never had a want to even have a child. Even even Will. So there's really no need to make more. So yeah, so I decided to bring Jenny here Jenny and the dogs because she well she was alone so it would be so boring to just play with her until she dies and I always do it that way I always keep the one of the children with the elderly parents so that I don't have to play with elderly sims alone uh, so I moved her in here. I, I decided to move her in here rather than move them to the original Smith house because I, I put so much effort into this house, first of all. And second of all, it's a bit bigger. It was easier to uh, make a small room for Jenny in this house than in the other one, I think. And also this house has... More of a soul, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so so she now lives with them. And uh, the fourth dog, Glee, will be moving into Jill and Buck's house. Yeah. Okay, and I won't uh, play in this household now. I just wanted to show you wh what I did. Uh, because there are other families that are way behind comparing to them. I mean, it's like one day of a difference, but still, there are three families that are more behind than they are. They are barely behind, actually. And Will, um, Will's birthday is today, so it's kind of a big thing, okay? So let's leave that for another episode. And I guess Jenny won't really be living too long yet. Um, she's 62 days old. I remember that she had birthday a few days ago and she's already almost halfway halfway through so yeah it won't take too long so i didn't bother to make her a huge room with uh with double bed or something she will just be living in this <laughs> this this thing um just just a single bed and maybe some closet or something let's maybe put it there now because they didn't have money before she moved in <laughs> Okay, a grandma's room. So now we gotta go to other families and straighten up some things. Oh, of course, the resetting is happening again. Um, yeah, and speaking of which, uh, now that I have Inseminator, I could actually fix Vidkind, right? Because uh, I can just go with this and select age and just go for adult will will this work or will he die <laughs> uh he has black hair does he have black hair in the game data because this happens a lot 
maybe it's a glitch, but I know that when you age down uh, Dan Daniel Pleasant with mods, he will be blonde. And Mortimer has brown hair, according to a... Uh, what is this? Oh, he has gray hair still. And there's no red? Um, I can't pick red. Good, he didn't have red hair before. I I'm not sure if this way is better than just keeping him uh, as an elder. I, I am really scared that this will break my game. E even though Inseminator is not supposed to break your game. Um, uh, unlike uh, the bullprop cheat, so... <laughs> This is really weird, uh, but I, I guess it might be a glitch happening because of Inseminator that it stops detecting the hair color of the of the Sims. Um, but it is a fact that some Sims have different a, a different hair hair color in the game data, especially Kaylin Langerak. Langerak, I guess. Um, she has black hair, but in the data she has blonde hair. So if you make her children with Daniel, it's very likely, like 50% chance that the children will be blonde. Which, like, visually doesn't make any sense, right? So some people make them children and they're like, what? <laughs> but yeah, she has blonde hair naturally. Okay, so he's on a... He's an adult and he's very happy about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I fixed this. Um, and it's 2 a.m. So he should... Why did I... Why did I leave the game at 2 a.m.? That... I, I never do that. <laughs> They're supposed to be sleeping and... Oh, God. Okay, never mind. They can just uh, do things or not he needs friends but it's the middle of the night so um i also need to fix uh the thing with crystal i mean not fix but just change because crystal obviously is going to be with buzz now so uh so they need to break up but maybe not at 3 a.m okay so <laughs> maybe maybe just just play chess with your daughter okay that's nice and he has different clothes, so uh, maybe let's uh, bring him back to normal. <laughs> and maybe only every day, because the rest is... Uh, I'm too lazy for that. And I can play for one day in this family, because they are behind. I'm not sure how much difference in days there is between Vidkind and Pascal, but... I will definitely age Vidkind up um, a few days after Pascal's birthday because uh, I think it's like three days maybe. I, I need to look it up. So Pascal should have been the point of counting for me at the very beginning, but I, I don't know. I made some really weird cal calculations and aged up Vidkind like 10 days uh, too early. <laughs> Never mind. It's fine now. He's young again. He's he's gonna just always be young. Hey, that's weird because I have a new lifespan, and he has n t 29 days to be an elder. It should be around 35 with the new lifespan. Oh yeah, yeah. Her hand broke. Okay. <laughs> um. But I guess Inseminator doesn't really uh, go with the lifespan thing. Never mind, I, I will age Vidkan in like six days anyway, so... But it, it just wasn't uh, very nice that he was having gray hair when he wasn't supposed to. And, you know, he had the walk of an elder and this kind of stuff. Uh, he is just not supposed to be an elder right now. It's good that I could fix it. Uh, what do you want? Has to be read too. I guess you could have breakfast already because it's 6 a.m. Oh, and Vidkan is going to work uh, at 8, at 7 pretty much. Um, so maybe he will 
invite Crystal over when he comes back. And again, with Inseminator, probably, I will uh, break up the relationship. Uh, because even though I have a mod called Break Up Anytime, I guess, something like that, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, as I as I showed in one of the latest episodes, so uh, I'll just have to do it with the uh, with inseminator. Okay then. Oh, he can't go to work because alien is still here. Right. <laughs> okay, just eat. He'll walk. And she needs to go to school very fast, very fast. Okay. Just go, Vidkan, your your daughter is oh my god. This again. Your daughter is at school already. Just go. Okay, thank you. Oh Yeah, I keep forgetting about the bills. They are not higher yet, right? I don't think so. Oh no. They are not very high, but they will be next Tuesday. And they are really tired now. Oh! <laughs> they have two chess tables. <gasps> I just never see chess. I don't know. Is this a condition? Is, is this an eye condition that you just don't see chess anywhere? And you buy new ones? This happens way too often. Okay, invite your lady. You don't really have any uh, fears of her anymore. He used to... Uh, have a fear of her dying, but that's not what gonna what's gonna happen. It's, it's definitely enough that Laszlo died. And do I remember well when you uh, break up the relationship with Inseminator? Will they get uh, a memory of breaking up? I think they will. Uh, I I I remember something like that. Yeah. No, that's not happening. <laughs> Oh, right. Um, the the reason why I am doing this with Vidkand is that I just thought that this is a nice twist. That it's Vidkand who will kind of break up the relationship. Uh, because Crystal is into someone else, so she maybe should do it. Like, she realizes that she doesn't want to be with Vidkand anymore. But I thought it would be... Uh, kind of unusual for for him to break up the relationship, like they met halfway or something, right? Uh, okay, spawn. Uh, oh god, quick quick relations or relation adjuster? Quick re relations, I think. Them relations, me relations. Uh, crystal. Huh, maybe I will choose know them, but I would like them to stay friends. But like them will not um, will not break up the feelings, right? Oh, it did. But they are still uh, a couple, so. <laughs> so 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 no. Or maybe when I get me relations, um, like me, still. Okay, I hate that sound. Um, know me? And uh, know them? Why isn't the relationship breaking? Hello? Maybe I'll spawn the other thing? Relations adjuster? Oh, there's a lot more here. What's with the flags? Oh, okay. I can make them friends. Mutual flags, crystal, um... Maybe love, clear flags? No? God damn it. Oh, I can go with mutual relations. Okay. Uh, mutual acquaintances... It did... <laughs> It still didn't break up the relationship. Maybe he can break up with her now? Uh, yeah, okay. I guess the relationship needs to be low enough for, for them to break up. 
But can it, can he? Oh uh, no, he can't do it under irritate. They they would have to hate each other. Okay, and now they will get a memory because he's he's just breaking up with her <laughs> normally. Okay, and she will. Oh, they are enemies. No. <laughs> I I want a nice nice uh breakup with no drama, okay? What? I made I just last time I used this mod it was the same thing. I uh, I just cannot mutual friends Okay, God, <laughs> and so many stupid memories now. Okay, okay, it's done. Why? Why does it make them fall in love when I choose mutual acquaintances? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess she should go, and she will cry or not. She will cough. Okay, and he went to sleep. And she went to sleep too. You can sleep for a while, I guess. And she doesn't have a desk. How does she not have a desk when she's been a child for a while now? Oh, there's her desk. Okay, I can't remember doing this. Okay, <laughs> I'll play until the next morning. Uh, at least I'll try to not leave the family at 2 a.m. this time. Oh, no, you shouldn't be sleeping. Play Red Hands. Because for some reason this makes you... Uh, <laughs> this brings you a lot of fun. And do homework. Do bathroom and just go to sleep. So yeah, so Vidkind will be a single dad. I, I don't think I will... Uh, make him be with anyone. It just really suits him to be alone, to be single. But he had a thing with someone, so that's enough. He's not really that much of forever alone. I think he made a really nice life for himself. It's funny how Alien doesn't even have an alien face. She doesn't have any features for an alien face. I guess she will, when it comes to face features, she will just be a copy of Vidkind, a female copy of Vidkind, just with black hair and green skin and uh, black eyes. Oh my god! Flirt! Be flirted with! Ask Sim on date! <laughs> no, that's not what I imagined for you. Oh my god. They just, uh, they just never follow the plan. He doesn't like anyone. Like, just anyone. I wonder what would the matchmaker uh, do, who, who the matchmaker would uh, bring to, to him if he could afford it. <laughs> Which he can't. Uh, but I, I just wonder if it would be an elder lady or something. <laughs> Probably. But she has different eyebrows, I guess. His eyebrows are very, very low. He kind of looks like a, a Neanderthal, like a primary man, you know? <laughs> Prehistorical man, human being. <laughs> yeah. And her eyebrows seem kind of fine. So I guess she will be prettier. That's good. Anyway, let's go to uh, the Grunt family now. But which one? <laughs> this one. Okay, it's 7 p.m. Uh, he is engaged, right? Yeah, she proposed to him. Um, and, she ha and he has the same relationship with Ayana as Vidkan has with Crystal now. Because the exact same thing happened. Um, so, I guess he could um, ask Mora to move in. Because if I play even one day in this family, I will have to play one day with the other family where she lives. So that's just a lot of complications. So going back and forth. So I will just put her here 
and we'll go on after that. And I think uh, Buzz... Oh! It will still take a while for him to... Uh, yeah, to get Crystal in here. So I will have to play with her. I think. I mean, if they have a one really successful date... It might happen, but let's just wait until tomorrow and let's move in Mora tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and let's focus on that. And I wonder if I would like to make kids for Crystal and Buzz. Uh, well, if it would be one kid, but still, I don't think there's enough room in this house for Tank's children and Buzz's children. Not really. And where will I even fit a double bed in his bedroom? Oh my god. Okay, we need to make some adjustments. He wants to apologize to Ayana. That's so sweet. It's not even 8 p.m. yet and they don't have anything to do. So I guess I will move in Mora right now because there's just nothing else to do. Oh, speak of the devil. And he probably can't call her because she's right here. Yeah. Just, yeah, okay, bye. They could just get married tomorrow and I wouldn't have to move her in. They could just get married tomorrow at like noon or something. But it would be nicer to be able to uh, buy her a dress and this kind of stuff. It doesn't really change anything if they move in before getting married. Um, so what's with the... What's with the bedroom? Only here there's a chance that a double bed would fit. So maybe I'll just um, switch these rooms. Maybe I'll make a, a chess and gym room <laughs> in here because it will fit in here definitely. And here I'll just make like a master bedroom. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, but first Mora. Maybe let's just do it right away. Uh, propose move in. Okay. Okay, and she's not with us, and uh, she's hungry. <laughs> okay, and we'll go shopping the next day, and I actually will go to uh to a, to a place to a store. <laughs> no, I will not do it with inseminator this time. I need to make an effort and just really go shopping. Uh, okay. Oh, throw a wedding party <laughs> in the place of apologizing to Ayana. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also intriguing that he, because he's mad at Ayana, but still he's afraid that she's gonna die. I mean, they used to, I, I mean, they are still technically best friends forever. So BFFs. So, uh, so that makes sense, but <laughs> it makes me think of, uh, like he's afraid that she's gonna, kill herself or something because he broke up with her. I don't know, just random thoughts. So yeah, so we need to make the adjustments and I don't think this bathroom needs as many doors. Okay, maybe... and maybe here as well so that this bathroom will be... or maybe not. But... <laughs> As I know, Sims, they will probably go to this bedroom this way. This door, this door, this door. Except just here. Because this corridor is very, uh, very small, very thin, I guess. And they probably can't, maybe not can't, but they just choose to go the other way because there's more room. To, to move around. Sims just don't like thin corridors. They will always go around. Okay, so this will be here and this uh, somewhere here. <laughs> there was a phone in this gym? Uh, 
Okay. I can put something in here. There's some room. Uh, but I'm not sure what. I, I will think about it. But there are so many doors in here, so nothing functional, I guess. Maybe, maybe some decor. Uh, I'll think about it. I always wondered what this upstairs was was like when Lila was still here. Is that Lila? Lila Grant, right? Uh, Buzz's ex-wife, dead ex-wife, um, because they had to have a double bed, right? They, she probably didn't sleep in like the backyard or something, right? <laughs> so I guess maybe this room used to be a master bedroom, but Buzz, after he got divorced, he just uh, made it into a study, a gym, a chess room <laughs> for, you know, for just uh, making progress in his career, for developing so that he would forget about his wife or something. Makes sense, right? And his birthday is in two days. I really hope he gets married before he gets old. There was no light in here? Oh, there was just this one... Right. There was just this one uh, lamp. So... They don't have any ceiling lamps? What was the light here? In this Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Is it decor or decor? Because <laughs> because I sometimes say something and then and then I'm like, is that the right pronunciation of this word? So Mora is unemployed and she oh she uh, she also wants to throw the wedding party, and she's less happy and she had it before, Tang did so I guess she will do it, um and yeah and I'm not sure what's your lifetime wish. Oh, become mayor. Okay, yeah, she's very outgoing. I, yeah, she's very outgoing. And she always seemed to me like a people person, you know? Just someone who's a schmoozer and just talks a lot with people and just likes people and this kind of stuff. And she's also a popularity sim. So, okay, we'll get you into politics. And she did uh, study political science, right? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Get a room. Get a room, I said. Okay, so I guess Mora can uh, work on charisma or something. Because she's not sleepy yet. She can just work on things. Maybe she will find a job. No, she will find a job when, uh, when she's already married. Because I don't want her to have to go to work when she's getting married, right? Uh, Buzz... What the hell? Why did you get up at like 4? Because your energy already dropped, so I'm guessing you're up. You're, you've been up for an hour or so and you just broke the computer. Ah, of course. Let's just buy you guys a new one. You can't afford it, okay? Maybe a Mac <laughs> and cheese. Maybe this one... Oh! <laughs> no, maybe this one. Isn't this the same computer as they used to... Yeah, this is the same computer as they used to have. So, okay, maybe this. Maybe a mac and cheese anyway. He's sick. He needs to get some rest. Maybe when he stuffs his face, I will just make him relax on bed. Uh, maybe read or something, because this is the best uh, thing to make them uh, be healthy again. And maybe we'll invite Crystal to the wedding and um, and they can just have plenty of romantic in interactions so that the relationship r r rises really fast. Really. Oh yeah, but they <laughs> they need to go to work. It's Monday. He has days off. Oh, okay. He ha he has a vacation day too. So so they won't go to work. They will have a wedding. That's nice. And Mora will go shopping now. Uh maybe in Strange Town because too many loading screens when you go anywhere else. Um which one is uh this one? Yeah, clothes. Okay. 
Okay, there are plenty of wedding dresses. Uh, oh, this is very nice. Didn't someone in Strange Town have this already? Yeah, it's a wedding set. Maybe if I find a link for it, I will uh, put it in the in the description. Some of them are really crazy. <laughs> this one is just insane. <laughs> so buffy. Um, but there are also very nice dresses just in the game. Um, yeah, like this one. And this one is also nice. But I think I will go with... Uh, yeah, with this one. It's very elegant. Kind of an, uh, kind of extravagant, but very stylish. That's... yeah, that's Mora. It seems a lot when you buy a formal attire in The Sims and it's uh, 400 simoleons, but it doesn't seem as much when you're buying a wedding dress. It should be way more expensive than... really. It should be way more expensive than 400 simoleons. It should be like 2,000 or something. <laughs> Maybe a thousand. But still. Ah, it's so sweet. Oh. Right. <laughs> She's still their maid. Oh my god, that's the worst. Mora will have his husband's ex-girlfriend as her maid. Does Tank have a nice formal suit so that oh yeah that's perfect for a wedding okay so maybe we should uh hey how nice it would be to have a wedding in here but people wouldn't go there they would wouldn't fit um so maybe maybe let's just put it here at the very front of the house so weird. <laughs> it's the first time when I made a wedding look like this. I, I am really curious what how this would work, if it would even work. This doesn't really suit the rest. I guess I would go with just uh, maybe like this one. Oh, yeah. This, this is better. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they will get married over a table full of food. Goals. Maybe I'll get this a bit further? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I'm not sure if I already told you that in an episode, but I uh, changed some things in the graphics rules file, so I can now invite eight people, as you can see. You just need to edit one simple thing, the same as with the resolution, uh, and you can even make it up to maybe even 30 people or something. Um, just be careful with it because your game can crash or something. Uh, I just went with a secure number of eight, just a standard num number, I guess. Uh, no, 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 we won't invite all the exes of Mora. <laughs> she doesn't really like these all these people, uh, but everyone comes to a wedding, right? Everyone makes it to a wedding, I think. Uh, so that doesn't really matter that much. Is there anyone else I can invite? Family? A anyone? There are no no more grunts. So um, there are also not that many friends. Oh, Rip! Right! The black sheep. I guess I can invite him, but there are not really that many people. Oh, wait, she didn't really date this guy, I guess, so, so she can invite him. I'm not sure about this guy. Maybe this one too. This one she definitely dated. Oh, Crystal, right. Does she even know Crystal? Crystal View, okay. Six people, not that bad. Uh, Rip, is this your formal wear? Well, the tie is very much rip, I guess. At least it's not ripped. Ha ha ha. Some music would be nice, I think. Where can I put some music? Oh, there is a stereo, okay. Stop painting, Tank. You're getting married. 
And they are getting chips even though... Oh, you didn't serve food. What kind of music does it play? Because I can't hear it. <laughs> anything over, over the freaking movie. I guess it's Latino. Probably, maybe let's go with big band. It's kind of like a jazz thing. Uh, let, let's turn this off. Let's serve this and let's get married. Okay? Okay. No. Thank you. Oh, it's it's very nice. It's like a promenade or something. You know what? Wait. Uh, <laughs> because I really want them to walk through the carpet. Like, you know. So, change into formal. And you change into formal. And you'll just have the walk. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't uh, plan an outfit for you, I forgot. Buzz, could you please change tank, for Christ's sake. I just want to <laughs> have the walk. I want, I, I want to see you walk to that arch, because it's gonna be very pretty. Can you? Yay, uh, with a book, uh, okay. <laughs> Very nice. And just get married. Yeah, this dress looks very nice from afar. That's better. So nice. Aww. And people are actually sitting at the tables. That's nice. Aww. And behind them you can see only the desert. That's nice. Love forever, Mora. Uh, that's not the right direction. Um, okay. Um, okay, Buzz. You can now eat. You can all eat. Oh, uh, when the tables are said this way they will never talk to one or maybe they will talk to one another okay okay buzz needs to do plenty of rom bless you romantic interactions with crystal kiss and flirt and hug and kiss again and stuff and he has 10 seconds to do it at least it's a roof raiser okay he won't do it <laughs> never mind yay uh okay maybe no not clean up it's it's been it's not even eaten like not even a bite you can just put leftovers away and you'll have something to eat the next day yeah, I'm always being a smartass and I always uh, make them grab a lot of plates and just put them in the fridge. No, don't eat it. That's the point. This is fun. Okay, this is it for today. I think I will wait a little bit before they have a baby. Uh, and for the next episode, we'll see which family I will choose. There are still a few families that I need to play for two days before I finish the round, so we'll see. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe, like, and if you like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye!